guess what I just got. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Hey everybody, first uh, let's do a quick unboxing here. I've got the Renology Starter Kit, which uh, seems reasonable at about uh, 200 bucks. It has good reviews and it comes with everything you need for the solar installation. Here's the charge controller and cables, yeah, tray cables for the battery and the solar panel cables and the all important instructions. And uh, what's this? Well, brackets and screws and everything you need to mount it on the roof. Looks good, huh? Well, as you may have guessed, uh, the idea is to install a solar panel here on the roof of uh, Minitini. Uh, let me show you what I'm uh, thinking of doing. Hey, how do you like that fantastic vent? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Come out good. I think the best location uh, for the solar panel is right here in the front it's going to be a little bit of an issue to um, to, to come up here and, and put the GoPro in there but I'll figure something out uh, but first I think I should really clean this roof I just realized how dirty it is so I've got this product on Amazon it's a rubber roof cleaner quicker easier powerful non rinsing non abrasive uh, biodegradable let's see how that works It might rain, it should hurry up. I think I am going to put the charge controller right here, above the fridge. Okay, let's whip out the tape measure. I might put the controller crooked, but at least the hole will be in the middle. And for some reason the camera is zooming in by itself. Me and power tools, what a concept. And the camera keeps zooming in. It has a mind of its own, I don't know what's going on. Actually, the hole is a quarter inch too small in diameter for the wire organizer grommet that I've bought. I didn't have the correct hole, so I'm going to use my new Dremel rotary tool to make it a little bigger. Yeah. Let me get rid of all this sawdust. Okay, I'm going to stick the tray cable that goes uh, from the controller to the battery through the hole and hopefully it will go behind the refrigerator and I can grab it on the other end through the refrigerator access door. Actually, I decided to do this on a rainy day. Oh well. Actually, not such luck with that cable. It got jammed up somewhere behind the fridge on something that looks kind of like a heat sink or a radiator of some kind. So we're gonna have to open up the vent to see what's going on. I have to do it anyways to drop the cables from the panel through the screen, so might as well do it now. Actually, I'm going to have to do what I was hoping to avoid doing and remove the whole thing. This job is just starting to get complicated. And I just hope it doesn't start raining again. Hmm, Facebook notification. Okay, I'm freeing the cable from its entanglement down there and uh, we're going to route it properly now. And boy, is it really getting hot up in here. <laughs> Must be at least 90 degrees. And let me take some video with the phone so I can show you. Here's the deal. Okay, as you can see, I have untangled the cable and uh, it's now free. So what I'm going to do is route it along with uh, the other cable as neatly as possible uh, near that corner with a zip tie and then straight down. And here's the back of my refrigerator and here are the two cables coming down from... Oh, can you see it? Way up there. Ah, just take these cables where those cables are going down. We were able to fish the cables out through that hole that they are right there. And uh, they're not long enough to go all the way to the battery besides it's uh, it will be a routing challenge. So I'm gonna connect them to my um, fuse box. 
Actually, the positive is going to go on the fuse box and the negative on a strip on the floor where all the other negatives are connected. This is my controller. I'm gonna connect the two wires that go to the battery. By the way, I know connecting to the fuse box is not the most recommended procedure. Ideally, you would run the two cables directly into the battery. But in this camper, the battery wires go through a narrow space under the floor and I haven't found any way to access that. And I don't want to open any new holes for now. So that's why I'm doing it this way. If anybody knows a better way, please comment below. I probably shouldn't be sitting on the air conditioning either, but I'm exhausted, sweating profusely. I even had to change my shirt. So let's get all this old Dicor sealant tape off. I'm securing the cables to an X16 cable with a zip tie. And this is such a pain in the butt. It is so hot that the sealant tape is melting and sticking to the paper backing. I finally managed to put the vent back on. And then the vent cover. Whew, finally installed the panel, but I was so tired, I forgot to turn on the camera. <laughs> the good news is that everything seems to be working properly. Success, mission accomplished. The solar is uh, fully installed. I didn't uh, shoot any video of the uh, actual final part of the installation because this is already summer here in Miami. It was uh, over 90 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And to be honest, I was sweating profusely and I didn't feel like turning on the camera. Uh, this is my connection and this is, I had to disassemble this whole thing. To recap, from the uh, solar panel, it goes down, and right here, right underneath here on the inside, is the is that top cabinet on top of the refrigerator where I connected, where I installed uh, the the charge controller. And uh, let me show you that. By the way, looks like it's gonna be a nice uh, sunset here in Miami. Here it is, right here, right behind this. Uh, this is that's the. That's where the vent for the refrigerator is, and that's where I um, ran the cables. Uh, two cables from the, from the solar panel, and these are those two cables, and here are the two cables that go down. Oops, focus camera, focus, focus, thank you very much. And they go down all the way through the back of the refrigerator, and I connected them to this um, fuse box and to the common ground behind it. Actually, let me turn on my fantastic vent because it is... Hey, what happened to you? Uh-oh. Ah, that was weird. Okay. It's on. And it's gonna be a little noisy, but... At least uh, if I open my window... We'll have fresh air. Until the next time... Thank you all for watching and uh, see you on the road. Oh, by the way, as you can see, my battery reads full. Yes, that's all solar power. Bye now. That's all, folks. Uh, do remember to subscribe. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and comment below. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, so follow me there, too, if you will. And visit the blog at roadnomad.com. Join the mailing list. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. I'm riding, riding with my RV. Wherever I want to be Because I'm free In my RV Yeah, I'm riding Riding, riding Riding with my RV My RV Wherever I want to be Because I'm free In my